The Bob Swift Create on Transition add-on for Jira allows you to automatically create issues or subtasks during a Jira workflow transition without writing a single line of code. I'm going to walk through several examples to show you how you can use this powerful add-on. Our first example will create a standard user story whenever a new epic is created. We're editing a draft workflow that's used for the SampleSoft development project. Let's add a post function to the create transition and select create issue, which is one of two post functions the create on transition add-on provides to you. Let's take a quick look at how all the parameters are laid out. At the top are two fields you can use if the issue creation should only be done under particular circumstances. Next are all of the built-in JIRA fields you can supply if you want fields from the issue being transitioned, what is considered the original issue, copied to the issue being created. The next section is used if you have custom fields whose value should be copied from the original issue to the issue being created. The last section includes the parameters you can use to supply a jQuery query to identify issues to act on or get values from, or to indicate how to create multiple issues at once if you need to do that. The last section shows just a few of the substitution variables you can use to indicate which values from the original issue should be copied to the issue being created. We'll use the condition parameter to ensure the new issue is only created when an epic is created. This uses a substitution variable with its name surrounded by percent signs to indicate to compare the original issue's issue type value to a hard-coded string. The new issue will be created only if this condition is met. We'll set the summary to a hard-coded value. Most of the remaining fields on the new issue will be set according to the default value shown, except for issue type, which we'll set to story. We'll also link this new user story back to the epic that's being transitioned. Since the new story links back to the epic, I'll move the create issue post function so that it's processed after the epic is created. After publishing our draft, we can create a new epic in the SampleSoft project that uses this workflow. The new epic and story are created, and the story is linked back to the epic. The next example demonstrates how to create a new issue in a different project when a bug or improvement is resolved. We're in the transition that moves the issue from in progress to done. Let's take a look at how the create issue post function is configured. The condition parameter looks similar to what we used previously, but now the pattern reflects a regular expression. Regular expressions follow a particular and powerful syntax that allows you to do almost anything including looking for particular characters, word beginnings, word endings, and more. Here we want to compare the issue type to two different values. If it matches either one, as indicated by the pipe symbol between the words, the new issue will be created. The summary contains both hard-coded text and a substitution variable to insert the issue key of the issue being transitioned. The project is changed, so it says the new issue will be created in the Doc Writers team project. The due date field of the new issue will be set to a specific value, today's date, by using the now substitution variable, with five days added to that date. The link field says to link the original issue to the new issue using the relates link type. After publishing that workflow, we'll create a quick bug. and transition it to done so our new post function should be triggered. An issue link was created to the new issue created in that other project with the summary and due date we wanted. Now we'll take a look at the second type of post function the Create on Transition add-on provides, Create Subtask. We're in a project that handles IT-related provisioning for things like onboarding new hires, handling employee terminations, and getting access to various systems. We want to create a set of standard subtasks whenever a new hire onboarding task is created. Let's see how we configure the create subtask post function to do that. 
The first condition is kept at its default value because we only want to perform this transition on a standard issue type, not a subtask. Another condition is set to say we should only do the create subtask processing if the original issue has new higher onboarding as its issue type. Issue type is left at its default value so that the new issues we'll be creating are subtasks. This parameter is used when you want to create multiple issues during the transition. Here, we'll supply a comma separated list of the values we want as the summary for each subtask we'll be creating. Summary is configured to use the entry substitution variable to indicate its value should be taken from the list of hard-coded values we just supplied. Like before, since this is happening on the create transition, the create subtask post function is moved below creates the issue originally. Let's create a new onboarding issue. And there you see the three new subtasks have been automatically created. The last example demonstrates how to create a variable number of subtasks based on the value in some field the user has supplied. In this project, we have a workflow that supports requesting approvals before an issue can go from in progress to done. During this transition, an approval screen is shown. The screen contains a multi-user picker field named approvers that identifies the users who must give their approval. The summary is set to a combination of hard-coded text and substitution variables that pull in the original issue's key and summary values. The Create Multiple Issues parameter says, in essence, that one subtask should be created for each user selected in the Approvers field. And lastly, the Assignee field is set to Specific User. We use the Entry substitution variable in the box to the right because it represents the current approver as we loop through the selected values in the Approvers field. We'll create an issue and then transition it a couple times so that we can execute the Get Approval transition. A subtask is created for each of the users we had selected in the Approvers field. This video has shown how easily you can use the Bob Swift Create on Transition for JIRA add-on to automatically create issues or subtasks from a workflow transition without having to write any code. Some of this add-on's most powerful capabilities, like setting conditions based on regular expressions, selecting issues based on a jQuil query, and using variables to reference fields from the original issue are also available at Bob Swift's Update on Transition and Run CLI Actions add-ons for JIRA. With over 1 million downloads and 35 of the most popular products on the Atlassian Marketplace, AppFire's award-winning Bob Swift brand of add-ons has helped over 10,000 customers across 90 countries creatively enhance their Atlassian tools. Start a free trial of the Create on Transition for JIRA add-on and be sure to take a look at our recipes for inspiration about other things you can do with this and other Bob Swift add-ons. <music>